Hi, my name is Evelyn Gagnon, and I am 78 years old, and I am on the road for the rest of my days. <laughs> this is my van called Josie, after my grandmother Josephine. So this is Josie. Nice. And uh, it's a 2020 uh, Dodge Grand Caravan. And I'll tell you, I just love it. I got it last summer and fixed it up so I can do some escaping reality and turn into a, um, a permanent uh, sightseer. Yes. I think in my passenger, I have, of course, I have the covers for, for at night and the little bag that go over, the little screen that goes over there. Always an emergency poncho. You never know what side you're on and always an umbrella handy. Mm -hmm. That's about it. But in here, I just keep my, here I keep all my chargers for my um, power and also for my cooler. So they're easy so to get. all the wiring is there. Yeah. yeah, that goes right in there. So I love my Echo Flow. It's an 800 watt. And I'll tell you, it is amazing. It will just charge up real fast. I've been keeping my um, cooler going for three, going on four days now. And I also plugged her in because she was getting down to 15%, and already, just within three hours, two hours, she's up to 42, and she's still doing the cooler. It's a 26-quart albacore, and I love it. I love it for the sake that, I mean, it charge, It keeps, it's 37 degrees right now. Mm -hmm. So I love it because, ooh, I've all got all kinds of goodies. I can put my milk in here, mm -hmm. the tall milk, without, you know, being, have to lay it down and being squishy. Right. So yeah, so I just love it. It fills, uses everything I need for the weekend. Usually here I keep my, um, this is my books for if I'm gonna read a journal or something like that, I can go out to a park bench or sit where I want. I have a little hanger here, garbage and hat, and of course some uh, deer spray. And this is a cooling cloth. It's made to go over, it's just by these. You just hook them around. It's just made for it. I always enter from here. I put down one of the rubber mats that came with the vehicle. Mm -hmm. And um, so I put it down here, and you know, for the dirty stuff when you step in. And then I keep one in front of my seat. I grabbed this mm -hmm. handle. I made sure that the curtain was on the other side. This comes in going in and out. I step up and in. And you don't get on your knees. No I knees. don't recommend people get in on their knees. No. What I have here, of course, I have my bed. It is a pullout so that two people, this pulls out, mm -hmm. makes a full across here so two people can sleep. I have two mats. So if you were coming along with me, you'd get one of them. Mm -hmm. And I have my fan. I don't know if they can see the fan. I can put it anywhere. Right now, wait. It clamps on. Yeah, it's a small one. It's USB. Oh, that's good? Yeah, it works really, really good. Then, of course, you know what this is mm -hmm. for at night. Lucy. Lucy. And she sort of hangs here. She's perfect. Yeah, that is USB or solar charged. Yes. I Velcro this little basket. This has most things in it, like for lights. My headlamp, my quick lamp, like that. That's what stays there. And then I have my, I store my, all my uh, window coverings right here that I've made. I was just a kind of a cottony. I kind of mm -hmm. went around and felt all the fabrics till I found one that I knew was heavy. And then uh, the binding is just, you can go and get your two inch of binding. You know, I had Joanne Fabrics or stuff, and that's what I did. I just, mm -hmm. after I sewed, first I sewed these, this and this together, mm -hmm. and then I did the binding. And right. I put a little pull strap to pull it out of the window. Right. You know, what a great job strap. you did. I have my vanity. And because of the width, I only needed a two, a 12 inch. Nothing bigger. Right. This is 12 inches this way. And then yeah. what? 28 and 28? Mm, probably. And what I've done is just get these. You go to the dollar. You know, the dollar 25 store nowadays. And I pick up. You can pick up these. It had all these little compartments. So I have my utensils. Of course, you always have to have something handy. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't know what you're going to do. Little mixing things here. And then underneath it, I have a cutting board. Here, I usually keep, like, my coffee. This is going to make my hot water. I love this. Or you can adjust the actual temperature. Yes. And it can be plugged into 12 volt, not just USB. Yes. Yeah, I make my coffee. I love this one, too. 
Okay, a, a arrow press is yes. it? Yeah. Oh my goodness. If you like uh, like a French press, the problem with the French press is you'd have the grounds to deal with. With this one here, the grounds end up there. You just pop it and they come right off. Right. You know, there's really no mess to this. I love it. Love it. And then down below would be like um, paper plates. Maybe some ba uh, bags, storage bags, you know, little things like that. That my cleaning, I do. I have been using the spray bottle with the vinegar and water. Right. You know, and I always have like one mug, one bowl. Just what you need. It's me. Yeah. So my sink was done by my son. I've got. We made that. He, he just just did all with a with a drill made all these little holes all around because we didn't have, uh, you know, a jigsaw or, or anything like that to work mm -hmm. with. So this can sink actually comes out of like a mobile home. Okay. So that's where you could order it is online. It was real cheap. I mean, cheap, cheap. And I looked everywhere, you know, from a bar sink to just a mini sink. This is perfect. And then under here I have, you know, my water. I keep one full one. And this is where... The gray water goes. Mm -hmm. We did do this part. You get that at a hardware store. Mm -hmm. so, and they're and usually then, they're good at helping you with finding kind of connectors like oh, that if definitely. you're doing it on your own. Just tell definitely. them what your project is and your measurements. Definitely. And so I have running water. Right. I love it. And it comes out right down there. Me here. Perfect. And when I'm driving, very important. I just use the bungee around the seat vest, and it just keeps it perfect. So I don't yeah. have to worry about it tipping. Okay, the plumbing part. I have one of those collapsible ones, uh, you know, that are any shape. Mine is kind of hexagon like that. Mm -hmm. And um, I have that, fits in a little, nice little case. This is all I need right here. It's so easy. Now you can have different options. You can do the little girly thing. But I've got my toilet paper. I've got my little, this is puppy pads if you want to put those down on the floor in case, you know, you feel like you need a little extra protection on your carpet. Mm -hmm. And then I've got the bags and I am using what Jan recommended a, in a video was these. They are fantastic. I mean, they're like sheets of ominously, you don't even know what it is, but it absorbs and I put in one or two at night, and that's it. And I don't have to worry about anything else, and all fits. No right spillage in issues. It. It's dirt to gel. Now those bags, those are made for um, for elderly uh, for bedpans also. Home. Yes, bedpan. They are so thick. I love them because before I was using either one or two, mm -hmm. and they were just so flimsy. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what happened once I ended up getting a hole in one, and and then you got on disaster the, the carpet. So that's why I got the puppy puppy pads to make sure. Right. And when I open the door, it doesn't look like, you know, oh, doesn't that's scream a... potty. <laughs> right. And yours is not as long as some. How tall are you? I am five feet. <laughs> so your bed doesn't have to be seventy-five inches no. long, does it? So mine is only 64 inches long and 25 inches wide. That's one of those I had seen another gal, and uh, it's got pockets for everything. So I keep a flashlight and, of course, the uh, mosquito. Then I've got the, um, that's the bee, for the bee, the haunted spray, and then I have my fire extinguisher there. Nice, handy. Yeah, close enough. And then a couple shopping bags, you know, when you, to grab and go. I kept one seat up. Because you get one on one side, and then it's a double where the bed is. So I wanted a second place to sit. So, so that I can read at night. I can put on Lucy here. Mm -hmm. And I have just enough light to be able to finish the evening. And underneath it, I just keep my personal like that what I have to do it in the evening. Wash my face, brush my teeth. And that just goes right here. And, of course, we have our personal makeup pouch. Of course. So that goes there. And I do have up front, I didn't show you, but there is a um, first aid kit. And I do have a, a mini first aid kit in my backpack. I believe I got that maybe at Home Depot or Walmart. Uh, it's only like, um, what is it, four by six? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's six because the, the van is six uh, crossed. Mm -hmm. so, at the widest uh, point here. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
See all this storage here? Uh-huh. Okay, I can put things in here. I mean, this came, I guess, for DVDs. Mm -hmm. You know, if you had kids and they wanted to have, each have their own DVD. So, I mean, I can end up putting whatever I need in there. I could right. actually put my, you know, face cream and toothbrush and stuff like that in there. There's enough room. Right. Okay, my mosquito net netting. I got the largest one they had because um, they have one for doorways and they have one for sliders. So I got the slider one because it enabled me to cut it and then use the second half of it in the back so I can leave my hatch up. The hardest problem I had was getting it to stay stuck to this fabric that's on the inside of these uh, Grand Dodge Grand Caravans. And I tried multiple things, the ultimate things, the co most costly things to see if I could work. None of it worked. The pins didn't work, nothing. What has worked and has been wonderful is the magnets that are already on there and um, come together. But I used a, I think it's like a, either a three quarter inch or a one inch wide 36 inch almost like a ruler metal but strong I mean it has a little weight to it and I was able to just tuck it in each side the seam okay, let me see. I measured okay I'm going to say where my finger ends it goes right in this little seam right here okay. I measured that Home Depot Lowe's what do they call it? Where would you look? Uh, you would look on uh, where they had like strapping. I would just ask somebody, where is met like metal, heavy metal strapping? It has okay. to be metal, not aluminum. Right. Okay. And do you remember what the measurement of that was? Because somebody will ask. 36 inches. Oh, 36. You said and that And I probably. think it's almost an inch wide or three quarter inch. You yes. cut the uh, length off the bottom and use it in the back. Yes. You didn't get in on our knees. We're not going out on our knees. You grab. Very important to hold on to. Yes. And then that's it. Just step out. Perfect. Yes. Yep. I did um, put some Velcro, whatever was left from all that. I mean, I had it piled up on the sides. And where you're not pulling on it or anything, it just stays. And of course, we all have to have a garage. This is my garage. And in here, of course, I have like, you know, the tire air for the tire. I actually have a hitch for my down there in case I need that for some reason or other. Who knows what I'm going to tote. But I've got anything that I would need for the vehicle. A right. ch um, battery charger. Yeah. Right. And things like that. So that stays right here. Right. To jump the car. Jump starter. Yep. Jump start. And then I got this. It's one of those. It was a bathroom kind of decor you could get. Mm -hmm. But it's shelves. three shelves and it has like the, the legs on it. But because of the well, I was able to put those um, wheeled legs on it and put it in here. It fits perfect. Mm -hmm, it sure here. does. And here I've got tons of stuff, you know, that we would uh, need to use. I like that these shelves have uh, an edge on it, so it actually is a bin, kind of like a, a, yeah. a shallow bin. Yep, yep. So I keep anything there. And of course, the smaller the better. We have our little chair. This is a... a backpack, mosquito, down here, you know, these little things the that, I, that yeah. I use occasionally. The and mini, to, mini cooker. Yeah, yeah. And then there's always a uh, space between oh, things yeah. you can put things in. Oh, right. Got to use every inch. And also here, you know, you got plenty of room for extras. But, um, okay, Dollar Tree, get yourself one of these little I guess it would be a cooler in their eyes, but to me, it holds all my USB things. Right. You know, because you have to... Keep them together. Connections, right? Yeah, so when you need them, you have to have a place mm -hmm. for them. That's nice if you've them. got them bagged, too. Yeah. Now, this is my netting for the back. It's just the magnets. And then I went and got some glitzy. And it's just... I just sew it up with magnets. The magnets that, that were on the bottom part of it. Oh, I see. Oh yeah, that's that's actually sideways. I see. Nice. Because mm -hmm. I've seen people have it where it opened, and Why? it doesn't need to. Why? No, you just need it to drape across there. Is right, all right. Nice. So yes, and in this, well, I have this is my oh I love my butane or propane. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, so. dual fuel. Camp Lux. Okay, one burner. We did camping as a a family for years and years did the tents and did the pull up push up uh, pop-ups did the hard tops we did all that so um 
the, the thought of camping. This is luxury camping. Mm -hmm. And also, it's like bland camping for us girls. Yes. Because we can, like, look at this. I mean, it's not just a plain bag. No, you can <laughs> clamp it up. <laughs> you can clamp it up all you want. Yeah, and this is my tablecloth. I mean, you know. Oh, on. for sure. <laughs> it is comfortable. It's like your little hideaway. When you close those doors, it's your space. <laughs> like a little cocoon, right? Ready to be a butterfly. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, See, now we're, we're like getting our feet wet being by myself, being a single, you know, solo female. So it's getting my feet wet for the next couple months, and then I'm going to hit the road right after Thanksgiving. And so from what I see, I'm going to be out for two or three months. Spend some time in Florida visiting, and then I think I might even head west. Uh-huh. Sitting in Cracker Barrel, because we're going to spend the night there, in those rocking chairs out front, just get, you know, just gabbing back and forth. And this gal came over, and she, I don't know what she said, she realized, are you staying overnight here? And before you know it, Jan is just offering all this information to her. She was actually living in a car. Yeah. So she was encouraging to her, let her know that, yes, you can do this. And that we have a support group with our Facebook page for women. As a somewhat newbie to this kind of camping, mm -hmm. um, what do you think about it? We've had a little mini meetup today, didn't we? No, it's been such a joy to spend this, these days, you know, with Jan. Kind of gleaning from... Um, what she's done for the year and a half on the road and what to expect mm -hmm. and to find out that you can do what you want when you want and um, I'm just looking forward to the next I guess mileage after mileage coming up looking forward to that rendezvous along the route one whether it's here or it's further south we're going to meet up again